Hi everybody! Um, so this video is going to be for week 50, I believe. Um, so this is going to be an, a weight loss update from last Tuesday because that's when I was supposed to make the video. Um, so I just got back from um, Oregon, Portland, Oregon. We were there for Holy Week to visit the grotto. It's a shrine so a lot of religious people visit um, that place during Holy Week. Um, so we were there for a few days and I didn't want to make a video because I gained weight actually. I know it sucks. I usually don't make videos when I gained weight but like I should be making more videos more often anyway so um, Anyway, when I left, I was at 172, um, as you guys already know if you watched my previous video. And, um, cause there's these, there's, um, this Filipino restaurant in, um, Oregon called Jollibee. So for those of you who are Filipinos, you guys know the restaurant that I'm talking about. And that is the closest Jollibee to where I live here in Vancouver, Canada. So a lot of Filipinos go there um, and the food is just so good. Well, I mean, it's like fast food. It's like burgers, fried chicken, and spaghetti. And so I kind of had that mentality where um, I was like, I don't come here often, so I have to eat, you know, all the food that I want now because I'm not going to be here for a, long, for a long time. So I kind of... And it was really weird that I think the first day that we were there, I was eating like the way I ate before I started Weight Watchers, which is really weird because I have been really consistent with even when I do pig out, I would still pig out in moderation. That even makes sense. But what I'm trying to say is it was really weird. Like even my family, even my, especially my sister, she's like, Oh my gosh, Iris, I've never seen you eat that much. Like, what's going on with you? And I don't know, I just, I was trying to figure out myself too. Why I was just, I just felt unmotivated. Maybe it's because I had already eaten a lot that day. Like, we left, um, we just had, we just drove there. So, um, it was a six hour drive and we left around three in the morning. We left around three in the morning and we were already eating like breakfast and so I think that kind of ruined everything that's what kind of got me discouraged to um like even eat within my points that day so I just kept on eating so I ate so much fried chicken so bad and then but good thing like there was a weight room and I weighed myself and I was at 180 but the thing is I weighed myself at night so of course I'm gonna weigh more than I would in the morning so I was so bummed out I was so stressed so I worked out so much not so much but like um definitely more than usual which is never so I worked out and I went swimming for the first time in years the last time I was like anywhere near a body of water was like when I was 13 or something so it was so fun and the reason why I did go swimming was because first of all I was indoors and at that time there was nobody in there but then like maybe 30 minutes after I was swimming so many people came in and I'm just like oh my gosh what am I supposed to do but I went in the pool in like a t-shirt with a bra underneath and um like like leggings not like leggings but like kind of like tights um which is really weird. I'm like, I don't want to go in tight. My parents were like, no, like there might be cameras and stuff like that. And what if people start walking in and you're not supposed to wear just your underwear? But yeah, so I wore that <laughs> and it was really weird because it's like I was in a full outfit underneath the water. But anyway, so I was working out like crazy and then I it got me back on track. So um, as of this morning, I am down to 174.6 which really sucks. I hate gaining weight. I mean, who doesn't? But like for me, it's a big deal. Even when I, like I know some people, they're like, oh, you know, it's just a pound or two. Like I'll lose it again. And, but for me, it's this, I, I don't want to be 
on a weight loss journey the rest of my life. So I have, I do have a time limit for myself. I have a timetable of, um, you know, like, of course it has changed over you know the last few months. Like, I've made it more reasonable, but at the same time, I still want to stay at that pace. And I don't want to be kind of like, I don't want to be, you know, like, oh, well, whatever, I'll just lose it next week or next month. Like, I make sure that I meet my mini goals every month. And that may be, you know, kind of a little too much for some people. But for me, I just, I'm just sick of, you know, being a big girl. And I don't have anything against big girls, but like, just for me personally, I want to be able to like go swimming without having to be conscious about what other people are thinking or even what I'm wearing, how I look, just just things like that. And so I there is I do want to meet my goals at a certain um, amount of time. So um, yeah, so it's gonna be my first anniversary May eleventh. Um, for me on Weight Watchers. So I'm really hoping that I can get to 170 by May 11th. And that's already like extending um, my time because usually I I want, because last time I wanted to be at 170 by the end of this month, but I'm giving myself till May 11th um, since it's, you know, my first year on, um, my first year completed on Weight Watchers. So I hope I get back on track, but then I am going to be going out tomorrow with my friends. And um, it's an all-you-can-eat sushi um, restaurant, but they also have an a la carte option. And so I, I asked them if, you know, like, oh, can we just do a la carte? Because I know I won't be able to control myself, especially with sushi. Um, but one of the girls was like, well, whichever one's cheaper. So hopefully I can convince her to just go with a la carte. Um... And I think that's everything that I need to say. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for today. And I hope you guys had a good long weekend. Um, let me know how um, how your weight loss went during the long weekend. If you've gained, if you've maintained, or if you lost even more. So I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.